Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, we've got a non-beer beer review. Because you know I like beer stuff. Uh, this is Locke's Finest Beer Cheese. Uh, we looked it up. It's L-A-A-C-K-S. And it's said to pronounce it Locks. Um, so I got a chance to go up for my birthday and see the Cubs game. My family hooked me up and we would decided to go over to Wisconsin because cheese. because cheese and it's not that far. So I'm in Kenosha. We would stopped at this place at Tenuta's and their crazy beers and lots of cheese and stuff. And I got this beer cheese and I keep pretzels around the house. By the way, these Uts sourdough specials are amazing. Stupid. Walmart. Yeah. Now this one, I don't know where I'm going to find this ever again until I go back to Wisconsin. I broke my chip. Just got it out of the fridge. God, holy crap. That's bordering on magical. I want to heat it up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cheese. I taste sharp cheddar cheese and beer. Mm -hmm. Two things I really like. Um, what am I getting? Thin. Huh. Sharp cheddar cheese. Aged nine months. Pasteurized milk. Mm. And then mm. beer. Mm, beer. Like literally, it's just cheddar cheese and beer. beer. Um, the beer is water, barley, malt, corn syrup, dextrose and malt, yeast, hops. I mean, I don't know. Made in Wisconsin. Like, we paid like six bucks for a pound of it, which I didn't think was bad. So um, it's an original family recipe. I like it. I've made, I've had beer cheeses before, and I like them. Usually, I have them warm. Yeah. Well, but I this, gave this one up. But this one, like it said, keep refrigerated. Well, I know. Look, I'm going to heat it up when you eat it. Yeah. Kind of like Rokin. <laughs> True. Hey, this says distributed by Lock Cheese Company, Greenleaf, Wisconsin. Whoa. Man, you can't argue with Wisconsin when it comes to cheese. For real. I think California's got more marketing dollars right now, but Wisconsin, Wisconsin cheese. Like, I was told that Wisconsin cheese got uh, banned from a lot of the European or the national cheese things that Europe was in because they kicked their ass too much. They got Bruce Lee. They got kicked out of the thing. They made them, they made those international ones just Europe only. That's not international. I know. I don't think they even call them international anymore. Because Wisconsin cheese just like trumped haters. them. Bunch of haters. Mm -hmm. They were upset. They were delightful. I like it. So I'm going to heat some up and I'm going to get some soft pretzels. For real. But I think other than the, hey, is it delicious? Um, I think I taste cheese and I taste beer. Mm -hmm. uh, lovely. Yeah. You know, I don't know if we should be drinking beer with it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get, I wasn't drinking beer with it because I wanted to know if I tasted beer in the and cheese. cheese. There's a beer in my beer. Um, mm, that's good. That's a nice sharp cheddar. Nothing's overpowering you, Taylor. No. Like, I taste the beer. I taste the cheese. Mm -hmm. And I can still taste my pretzel. Mm -hmm. But this kind of heated up. 
on a soft pretzel, that'd make my day. Apple sauce? Mm hmm. Where's the dip? You don't think it'd be kind of good? You know, you do apple sauce on potato pancakes? Mm -hmm. I don't do that, but I've had that at German restaurants. It's good. I think we need two more pretzels to finish <laughs> this. review out. Um, so, uh, I have no idea what I'm going to be able to find out about this. But what I find out, I will put in the description. You're also going to find my links down there. Social media, merch, all that kind of stuff. Uh, hey, guys, I'm not monetized yet. If you want to support the channel, the two best ways you can do that is either give me a thumbs up and comment. we will talk to you guys down there in the comment section. Subscribe. That helps a lot. Heck, ring the bell. You'll get three videos a week that are beer related. Sometimes I review beer related stuff too. Um, the other thing you could do is you could buy something from the merch store. I designed a bunch of beer related uh, logos and they put it on all kinds of crap for me. Um, My yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, um, when we rate the products and food and all, it's a little different. It mainly goes, is it good? Yeah. I think this is really good. Real good. Would you have it again? Yep. I think I would. Glad we got a pound. Yeah, I'm glad we got a pound. As you can see, though, we are jacked up the top. Um, I don't think it's going to take very long to go through that pound. I don't think we will. We both really like cheese. Especially once we warm it up. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it'll be good to, like, cut out part of it and heat it up. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't uh, heat up a whole container at once. Yeah, because then I'd have to eat up the whole container. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Um... Apparently, we need to form it. Um, now, uh, do I think it was a good value for what I paid? I think so. I think six bucks for a pound of cheese, not terrible. And this feels like nice cheese. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of hidden stuff in it. Do you like that? I didn't see a lot of things in the ingredients list that I couldn't pronounce. Yep. Well, it was in Wisconsin, from Wisconsin, from people that had new cheese. Yeah. So. I think the six bucks was good. Yeah. Overall, I think it's good. I mean, it's not like we rate them like we rate beers, because, no. no. Just if you're in the area, find you something, because it's good. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if you like us, send us. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just and if, saying. If you guys have like other, like beer related, I like food stuffs. Yeah, we like to do beer food. That you think we should try? Put those in the comments. I like to look for them. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it's really good. I want to eat more of it, but I think the video is over. So until your next. Beer cheese adventure. Cheers. Cheers.